Hi, this is Amrit Palkar, and I hope that you all are doing good. And before starting this particular video, I would like to thank you that you all are liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. I am really very thankful to you all. So today's video is based upon connectors. That what type of connectors you should use on different situations. For example, if you want to show, if you want to show the same trend. like the trend is repeating and you want to say that this has already happened all similarly and from that point so then you can use the uh, connector that is likewise in the same way similarly also correspondingly simultaneously and in the same breath so here the main point which you should take care is that you should not use the same type of connector in case you need to write the similar think again and again for example once you have used that in the same way now if in the second body paragraph or somewhere else you again need to use a connector which may show the similar trend then you should avoid using the connector in the same breath because the grammatical structure in both these connector is same so it would be better if you use simultaneously correspondingly also or similarly or likewise in the next place so this is a very good trick and this is a point to be noted okay so let's move to the next type that is result which you, when you need to show the results of particular thing you must indicate the reader that now you are going to the result line okay so there you can use the very basic one is therefore thus as a result accordingly consequently eventually and last one is hence so if you have noticed that i have changed the numbering here because the nature of these four is neutral these words actually do not tell anything that whether the sentence is going to be the negative in nature or the positive in nature but here from these three connectors these are really very important and they are explaining the things by themselves consequently means the result which you are about to write that has a negative nature for example consequently earth's temperature is rising and global warming is increasing and eventually is positive in nature so it means the result you are going to write is definitely positive and for example eventually if a person is working hard the success will be near and the last one in his is hence so this particular word is specially used by the science students or you can say when it comes to any letter which is uh, oh, sorry any essay which is related to science things like they may have the essay may be related to global warming or deforestation and something something like in science and research and technology then you can use hence as well okay so this is all about today's video and that i have and i hope that it will help you to increase your cohesion and coherence that is your cc and we all know that examiner is going to give you marks out of 9 when it comes to cc as well so all the very best thank you